Guys, I claim to be a, a grown man. I say it all the time. Oh, I'm a grown man. This is, I'm grown. No. I've come to realize that I'm not really that grown. I've always been very immature. Very immature. The reason why I say that is because now that I'm realizing the things that I'm, I've always thought were right with my body and I wasn't doing them, you know, just spreading my toes, spreading my fingers, you know, sitting on the floor, doing crunches, leg lifts, squats, simple things that would have gotten me in the situation of success years ago. I didn't want to face them because I was in so much pain. I wanted to soak in everything that was around me and just be mad about it. <clears throat> you know, well, after the Navy. I wouldn't say that it was before the Navy. Before the Navy, I was pretty, you know, happy. You know, I had, you know, but I'm talking about after the Navy. Like, the pain just, like, took over me. It made me, like, this really demonic person in my mind. I mean, in my body. It made me want to just it's just mad like I would have bipolar like moments where I was just really extremely mad about things um because I just couldn't figure out my body but now that I'm starting to feel loose I'm starting to stretch my toes out my, my plantar, uh, plantar fasciitis is going away I'm getting a clarity I'm starting to understand boy you've been very selfish. I've been selfish to everything because of this pain. I wanted to get away from everything that would cause me any kind of misery outside of me thinking about how to get rid of this pain and somehow figure out how to play basketball. Okay. So, like I said, I had back problems since I was 11 because I started twisting my ankles at 11 because I talked a lot. You know, I, I, Basketball was like life or death for me. So when I played it, I played aggressive, you know, especially when I knew I was better than like yeah, people. And like they just talked, they spoke like people would ever caught the person that started it. They talked, they caught me because they saw how it went off on people like in any way, any shape or form. But it was a battle. It was war to me. It was war because I just wanted to get out of the house. <laughs> I just wanted to, and I couldn't stand the fact that I had three more years or whatever, how many years. So I just wanted to get out and I wanted to start, you know, trying to make my parents at least be proud of me. So, you know, I started realizing that things weren't going my way. So I couldn't have things go my way and, you know, please this, you know, person. So, um, you know, I left the school that I was at, the West Haven High. And I feel bad because I realized that everything was built for me. Like they had a middle school team and it shut down after I left middle school, maybe it lasted like a year, but like it shut down after me. It was built, it started when I was going into middle school, not the year after I got to middle school, seventh grade, it got the year of. My parents, my mother tried to make me have to go home after school to go pick up my brother instead of go to practice. So I would have to sit in the house and wait for them to come home to work at four o'clock, whatever time it was, and miss basketball and just play youth. But the town knew that I was really good at basketball, so they somehow f made it that I played on the team. And they threw an extra trial and everything. So like, and then I played with the officer, Officer Weatherspoon, every day, you know, in middle school. Every day he was training me, playing basketball. I didn't know, I didn't realize this was training. I was just playing, like, you know what I'm saying? I was just getting better and better playing a grown man. And that was just everywhere. I was just battling everywhere, like, you know what I'm saying? So. I became that dude, you know, real quick. And, um, you know, I, w I got to um, high school and I left freshman year like a dummy because I just wanted to please my mother. Like she's nagging about that. But I think her motive was always to get me to not play basketball. I could see that clear as day. Let's not kick her back in. Let's talk about this back issue. The back issue caused me to agree with her because it was the easier route go play with somebody that I knew and make life go quick and easy. The high school go quick and easy. That's all I wanted. I didn't care if I got all the accolades. I just wanted to just get out of the house and be around.
around people where I didn't have to argue, fight. Women asking me why I ain't with a black girl. It's just like, I didn't want to deal with none of that stuff. So, but I should have because I owed it to them. You know what I mean? So I realized that this now at 37 that I messed up with these people and I have all right, they have all rights to be mad at me because I would have definitely brought three state championships to that or two at least to that state championship. I mean, to that state and that city and that uh, town. And I was rude and I was disrespectful by not seeing the things that they were doing for me, knowing that they were doing some things for me, but I didn't really know. I knew I was the one, but I didn't know that I was, you know, because at, at home it wasn't, you were, you ain't shit. You ain't that, you ain't this. You know what I mean? Like, it was just like, it was a headache. So like, when you got a migraine, you don't want to do anything to get rid of that migraine. So I was just trying to sleep that shit the fuck off. So I'll go play basketball and come home and try to sleep or, or, or stay up and then go to wake up when she goes to bed and just sit on the internet and just like download music or whatever. And I should have been training or and, and chasing after a girl that I should never even, but this is all talking about my issues, my faults. I'm not talking about anybody else. I realized that those issues were because of my back and my because of twisted ankles. And what I should have done was I, what I did all my life before I got to sophomore year of high school was sit my ass in the house or go outside and do ankle, like do squats and lunges and all that stuff, you know, jump the little uh, thing we got at the house. I would just jump this wall. This wall was like three feet and I would just jump that wall every day in elementary school all the way up. So I was able to jump out the gym like all my life. So <clears throat> I got away from that. And I feel like, you know, the evils got to me and I should have never allowed the evils to get to me. And I'm not even talking about people. I'm talking about the evils of me not being mature enough to listen to people say, shut the fuck up. Just shut up. Shut up. Stop talking when you play. Just shut up. Try it. Try it for a quarter. And that's what Coach Powell was trying to do to me. He was trying to tell me to shut up. You gonna get to where you going? Just shut up. It'll be easier. And we like, you know what I mean? Like, cause they didn't have the manpower to support. Like, if we went to the urban schools and something happened, like, I wasn't thinking like that. I was immature, so that I I can be a man and say that now. So I understand exactly why I'm not where I'm supposed to be because I was immature in college as well, knowing I was the shit, acting like the shit but not knowing shit. <laughs> and I really expected somebody else to show me the way and nobody really did that. You know what I mean? At all, they were just, you know, so, and like, you're supposed to be prepared at home for that. And that's how I know it was just a plan to make it downfall because nobody pre prepared me for, you know, the success that I was about to be given. And you know what, it was up to me up to me to continue those workouts that I was doing all throughout my life. It was up to me not to start drinking. I should have made my choices not to go to that party. I should have, it was all me. And what you're thinking I can handle everything at one time and with back pain, that's not gonna happen. You're gonna step the wrong way and you're gonna get mad. You're gonna cut somebody out or you're gonna say some dumb shit or you're gonna get excited that you don't feel pain at this, this time because of the alcohol or because of the weed. Or because, this, you know, the girl look good. You know what I mean? Like, you just, you get consumed. And the, um, the environment gets to you. So you become a statistic. So, from now on, what I'm going to do is shut the hell up. I like talking. I love people. But I realize also another thing. That I'm a big dude. I don't realize my size. I didn't start realizing my size until like now. So that's why I record myself and I throw it on YouTube because honestly, it's not for anything, any views or anything like that. It's just for to see what I look like to the perspective from the perspective of somebody else, somebody else's POV. That's just what I do. And if I get comments, views, likes from it, that's cool. You know, shares, that's lovely. Um, but I'm learning everything as I go. You know what I mean? So like, that's why I say to you guys, be, you know, just, Handle with handle me with care, and I'll handle you guys with care because I'm learning. 
Um, after the military, you know, being in the military is like idle time. You don't learn anything but military stuff. You talk to people that know any nothing but military. I didn't know that people didn't talk about sports all day until I got to the military. And I was just like, bro, this is this is not fun. <laughs> like, how do you go to war or want to go to war, but you don't know, you don't watch war stuff like basketball, football, baseball. They, like, that's competing. That's competition. That's war. You know what I mean? Like, in, in, a, in, a, in, in an entertainment way, a PG, whatever you want to call it. But I just didn't understand. And I, I, I now that I don't have these back problems, I start realizing the things that I'm doing and you know, what I have and what I've been letting go by to the wayside, you know what I mean? Like what, I'm just growing up. That's all it is. Growing up and knowing that the world could be this big or you can make it this big by just shutting the hell up sometime and not saying certain things. So I, I, I should probably just make it as a character. You know, that's why I call myself King Mark. I don't really want to be like the king of the world, but I just want to like, I know that I could be the king of this community and help other people like become the king of their community. You know what I mean? Because you can't call yourself a god, but you you control life. You can have kids. You can take away people. You can, you, you're, you're kind of a god. So that's, excuse me, that's what I really mean when I say King Mark, because you wouldn't be in this position if you didn't have some kind of power. You got power to stand up. You got power to blink. You got power to breathe. You got power to eat. You got power to chew. You got power to digest. You got power to do things that you don't even know you're capable of. So why the hell aren't you some level of God? To somebody, you are. You're, to an ant, you are. You can make... So let's think about it. That's all I mean. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I say that I'm a higher power than anybody else, but I'm learning how to express myself and explain it, you know, and to how to <clears throat> think outside of the norm, you know what I mean, of my old fashioned ish ways. So I hope you guys can bear with me. And um, I think that people could live the way they want to. I don't give a damn about how, what you are, or what you were, or, as long as you're good people. I just am not too comfortable with that on me. You know what I mean? Like, you know, trying to be attracted and I just like, see, I don't like secrets. I don't mind if you say it from the beginning. I don't, that because that's, everybody has mouths. That's all I'm trying to say. Say from the beginning, so we can be we can be friends. We just know where things where things are. That's all I'm trying to say. I love everybody. I'm not rude, disrespectful, and if I do, I'm gonna fix myself. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna be mad about, it, but, and then I'm gonna be like, like Nipsey Hussle said. He said, if I'm I'm wrong, I'm I'm gonna go fix myself. So I'm gonna fix myself. And yes, I can be wrong about some of the things that I say and do, but I'm not perfect. I may claim to try to be. But I know I'll never reach it. It's just something that I can't obtain. It's like having a stake in front of you while you're on the treadmill. You know you're not going to get to it, but you want to just get as close as you can, right? That's what I'm saying. I love everybody. Excuse me if I seem like a butthead. I don't mean it. And another thing, now that I'm not in pain, I'm going to stop cursing and swearing. It makes no sense to curse and swear. I can express myself in another way. There's other ways of doing things. And plus, I got a ton of kids that follow me, watch me. And who am I to be a dickhead? You know what I mean? Sorry, excuse me. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sailor. I'm trying to get over this, this stuff. Give me a minute. Like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not perfect. We already established that. Give me a second to get this thing together. <clears throat> but don't, don't not be my friend. I love you guys. I'm telling you. I really do. I just got to figure some things out and we're going to be great. I promise you. Watch. Hold on. Let me. W Dugan. Anyway. We got great things coming and I don't want to block my blessings by being a butthead. So why not be 
if what I'm supposed to be. Let's step into this role, bro. Um, work with me. I'm going to make more mistakes. You're probably going to hate me for a day or a couple of minutes or one video or something. But just like skip over that and just remember, I mean well. I'm going to figure it out. Put your little comment down at the bottom and be like, yo, David. You know what I mean? Something. I got a nice name for my apparel company, too. I got to just get there. I just need to get a car first. I want to get a car so I can uh, move around. I think, uh, I think I got the body thing figured out. So I think I'm going to make what? What's this coming up? Hey, what's, oh, we in March? Hey, we in March? We in March. Are we, where are we in? I don't even know what month we in. Anyway. We're in April. Okay. Damn, 420 coming. Hopefully I got that ready. Ready? Anyway. 416 is today. Um, oh, I gotta do my reverse squats too. The hundred days of a mm, excuse me. 100 days of reverse squats and also i've been trying to work on cleaning my face i'm really trying to step all the way into this whole thing and i've been washing my face and it's so annoying i wash my face every time i go outside to smoke because then i realize oh shoot that shit's going on my face making all that tar go on my face i really 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 need to get on my face like clean it and um get more professional but um yeah guys just Pray for me. I'll be praying for you. This is fun. This is honestly, I'm so excited to see what this body can do at this age. I'm, I see people 80 running outside every day, every morning. I see it every day. So it's like so exciting to see, like, see what I can do because I know that I know I started working out way before them. I know that I got great genetics. So, like, what if I keep going and then I can inspire a ton? Wow, bro. I should have been on YouTube a long time ago. I apologize for everything, but I just was going through some things and I was running from life, okay? I, I admit it. I was all. But I'm ready to stand in and be an honest, you know, honest man. An honest, alpha, masculine, straight man for you guys. Um, let me show you guys how to actually work out you don't need all the steroid things you know we if you you are that's cool whatever you want to do but make sure you keep up with the doctors and everything like i don't know how that works i don't know anything about all that i'm just genetically gifted and i'm tired of lying to myself i see it i've known it all my life and um i was scared of it i'm afraid of it and now i'm not because i was afraid of the pain everything i was doing i was thinking about the pain like oh like somebody said let's go to a roller, on a roller coaster. Oh, shoot, man. What if it goes... Oh, and then my... You know, and then that, like, my fascia was all messed up because of, you know, my car accidents and, you know, the car jilting you that way. And that's why my neck... Oh, that felt good, though. That's why I need to get back on that court. Oh, oh, Nick. Oh, what? Get that, that first step so stupid. That first step so stupid. I just gotta get that. Uh, what? But I'm gonna get back on that court, too. I got the cleats ready to go. Oh, man, look, 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 look. Look at my joints. Fire-ass Nikes, huh? You never seen them hoes before. <sighs> them things go, I'm telling you. I ain't put them on my, I, I have put them on my feet. They're pretty comfortable. I got these off at Amazon. These are some, like, I just wanted to get something cheap because I didn't know how often I was going to use it. So I want to get something cheap just to start off. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be pretty for nobody. I'm trying to get to the money. And I'm trying to get to the athletic ability. You know, be 73 dunking on dudes still. You got dunked on by Uncle Mark. Yes, you did, kid. Yes, you did. Windmill, too. <laughs> I'm trying to do some craziness, bro. I'm telling you. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I'm going to be... I'm, I see all the dudes, the young boys doing all these squats and hip thrusts and stuff like that. As soon as I get my body loose, I'm on it. I'm on it. I promise you, bro. I'm making up for all that lack of time. I'm playing everything. I don't care. I'm playing uh, softball, baseball, kickball, volleyball, everything. Everything. Like they said, Herbo said, bitch, everything. Everything. 
I want my Nike deal too. I like Nike. I love Nike. I want my Nike deal. So I'm going to do whatever I got to do to get my Nike deal. Not every, anything I got to do. You know what I'm saying? No ditty. I'm, I'm just saying I'm getting my Nike deal. I have my own cleats with my, my signature on it. The biggest, the biggest athletic um, influencer, YouTuber on YouTube. That's going to be me. And you guys will see it from the ground all the way up. And then maybe we could recover some videos and stuff from, you know, my Navy days and before that too. It's going to be fire. It's going to be lit. Stay tuned. I'm telling you. We're going to have a great, and then I'm going to help you guys too. Oh man, bro. Do you know what we could do together? Yo. You do some great things. I know. I'm so mad that I wasted so much time on it, though. Oh, bro, I should be in a fat ass mansion by now. I should be, oh. But at least we know we can do it. You know I mean, you guys, I could have already helped and, and had on my show, my podcast, and oh, bro, so stupid. All right, anyway, I'm gonna go. I love you guys. Um, I gotta finish my meal. I went to the farmer's market, bro. Got a double cheeseburger and some french fries. They put the tomatoes and everything up there. I don't really like tomatoes like that on... If you chop them up and put them like a burrito where I can't see them, I'm cool with that. That's when I like them. But you give me anything that I could see, especially like a sandwich, bro, it's not going... I'm not... I'm No. Mm -mm. Cheese and meat. I just can't. My mind just is like, ooh, all that swishing in your mouth. This is just weird, bro. I just can't do it. Yeah, so oh, before these french fries get soggy, though, I'm out.